and here we have the T-Mobile G1 with Google. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the device. I can compare it to, oh I think I have an iPhone around here somewhere, there's one. In terms of size, get a feel for the size, it's pretty comparable in terms of the width and height of the iPhone. It's a little bit thicker and of course has this nice bend at the bottom. I actually kind of like that for making phone calls. So let's put the iPhone down and let's fire this puppy up. Actually, before we do that, let's do a quick walkthrough of the device. Front side, we've got our speaker and we've got buttons across the bottom. We've got a trackball here and a menu key. On the left side, we have the volume, which controls uh, volume for each individual function separately. I kind of like that. This right here is actually a little door for the uh, the SD, micro SD card. We'll get to that in a second. At the bottom we've got the microphone port or hole, I guess I should say, and also the mini USB port here for charging. You really don't need to sync this because it does everything over the web. That port is also good for the headphones because it uses the USB headphone jack for, U for HTC devices. We've got our camera shutter button and a little tab at the top. I'll get to that in a second. Here, let's turn it this way so we can get the Google. And then we've got our three megapixel camera sensor there and speaker for speakerphone. The speakerphone is the loudest I've ever heard on a phone. It's pretty awesome. Um, let me also flip this up. One thing I've noticed is it doesn't quite go parallel. This should kind of, the left side should be a little higher, but that mechanism just, I don't know, it seems to be a little bit off. Let's see if I can hold it properly. You can see it's tilted a little bit. It may just be my unit. But you've got your keyboard, and uh, we'll get to the keyboard in a second. It's kind of nice. Uh, it is backlit, but not as much as I would like. And you'll notice that the red Alt button is for the symbols, and those are not lit up. So I don't like that, but that's just me. Anyway, this tab, when you pull that, it took quite a bit of effort the first time I did it. It actually takes the whole back of the device off, and here you can see the battery and the SIM card slot. The battery itself, let's get that out of the way, is an 1150 milliamp battery. And there you have access to the SIM card. Let's put that back for a second. Close this back up. You just kind of reverse it, put the left side on first, and then snap that tab. Anyway, let's, you can see I still got the plastic covering the protection on it and that's just because it's a review unit. So, alright, so I'm going to press that red button and hold it. And we got a little vibrate there. T-Mobile G1. I find that it actually takes a while to boot up more than I thought it would. But otherwise, in actual use, I find it pretty snappy. Go figure. Still got the splash screen. Android, yes, we know. This is your back key here. Your hang up and power off and also lock and your connect and home. Menu key is a little bit um, narrow, I think, but maybe I'm biased. The screen is locked. I'm going to press the menu key to unlock. And there it is. I'm actually going to lock it again for a second. I've noticed that you don't have to press the menu key if you want to unlock it. You can actually just flip it open and it unlocks. That's not really a security issue because I didn't enable, and I'll do that right now, the... Um, We'll go into the settings. I didn't enable the screen unlock, so it will require a pattern. Change the unlock pattern, and I'm just going to make a Google G just to show you, and I got to do it again. Google G, continue. There we go, confirm. So now if I lock it, even if I flip it open, I still need to draw the pattern. Notice how the screen rotates pretty quick. I, I like that. I like that a lot. We'll hit the back key and get back. 
All right, so so here you have it. It's a three screen device, so to speak, kind of virtual. Here, I'm gonna tap and hold that Google search. And you can see I can, um, I've got a program menu here, which I like. It holds about 16, not about, but definitely 16 items there. And you can add more and scroll. And if you want to add something, like if I want Amazon MP3, I can just tap and hold and then let it go, and it's now on my home screen. It's that easy. We're connected to Wi-Fi right now. Now, I saw that an email came in, and up at the top, this is really unique, is the notification bar. It tells me the time, signal strength, and there's up to 32 different items it can show you. And the neat thing is, I call it the window blind of information. Tap it and pull it down and it will show you various notifications right in there. So I've got one unread email conversation going on. I don't know what that's all about, but I can check that in a second. Actually, I can check it right now. It's gonna take me to, all right, there we go. I got an email from Judy and very good. I'm gonna do a web worker daily bit on this very phone. And she's saying, hey, that's perfect. Let me know. Cool. You got it, Judy. Um, you know what? You can see I can reply, reply to all, forward, archive label, and delete. So I've got my labels, and these are all preset. I mean, I've got all these set on Gmail already, which is awesome. So I can use all those. I can delete. I can archive. I can do my reply. Here's one interesting bit. I hit reply, and I can't really type anything, unfortunately, because and I'm hoping this gets addressed sooner rather than later, you can only type or input text with the keyboard. So, kind of bummed about that. I wish and hope that somebody puts out a software program that allows me to input text right on the touchscreen. So, all right, enough of that. Let's get back to message save this draft, very nice. I've got all my email. Very cool. Just a quick look. Um, here, let's go back into the program menu for a second. I'll flick it up. And I am, which is all tied into Google Talk, but also works with AIM and Windows Live Messenger. Works with uh, Yahoo Messenger as well. I uh, We've got the maps here. I was looking in my area, not too far from where I live. And, you know, you've seen this before, I'm not going to say where, and then zooming in is done by actually pressing on the screen. You know what, I'd like to see a satellite view of that reservoir, so I'm going to hit the menu button, which is down at the bottom, and I can say map mode, satellite, and we're on Wi-Fi again, so that's going to be pretty quick. There we go. I really want to do the, the pinch, but I can't can't do the pinch. I'm used to the pinch. But I find that this works out pretty well. Um, the plus and the minus to zoom in, zoom out actually works the same for the browser as well. I show that in a separate video. Uh, let's go to the Android Marketplace. And I've already gone to games because I grabbed Pac-Man. But let's go to Brain and Puzzle just to see. You can see just a few items in here. And I can sort by date and so on. Um, Casual games, what do we have? Bubble Bash, that looks pretty cool. Do, 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 and it gives you a little look-see review. View more apps, send email to the developer. Boy, talk about open. Hey, I love your app. Make more of them. Cool. And I could install, I'm not going to do that right this second. I'm just hitting the back button. Uh, Pac-Man, I did grab. And we touch the screen, play the game. I'm not good at it, so I'm going to embarrass myself. I'm going to actually use the little trackball. Down, over, down, right. Oh, the other way. There we go. Hey, this is actually pretty good for me. I really suck at Pac-Man. Anyway, hey, let's go in here. All right, enough of that. Um, but the device is very nice. I, I, you know, it's we talked about the HTC Dream before. It's probably hardware that's, uh, well, 
you know, there's more advanced bits of hardware that are out today, so they've probably been working on this and held back for a while and make it work with Android. Um, keyboard's interesting. I often find myself hitting the menu key here uh, when really I can just hit it over here as well uh, by hitting that instead of shift, which is down here. I'm going to turn out the light for a second. I'm going to see if I can show you this backlit concern that I have. Okay. Um, you know, the camera is picking it up pretty well, but trust me when I say in a low light area, and I'm trying to, I'm not going to go completely dark in here because that would hose things up, you can't see the alt characters. Whoops, in red, I almost dropped it. Um, it. I find it hard. In fact, that zero is barely lit up. You know, let's tap that again. You know, it's barely lit. It looks better on camera than it actually is, and you can't see the red character that's there, which happens to be a right parenthesis. Um, so I think they could do a little bit of help for the device by better lighting, backlighting this. It looks okay there, but trust me, with maybe it's just my eyes, it's very dim. Let's turn the light back on. All right, I think it's because of the gray background, light gray background, and then uh, the backlighting, but... Anyway, that's what I typed. Figure to loop. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, let's go back to the home screen. You know, everything's integrated very nicely with Google. If you like Google, it's, you know, it's all about the Google. I can star a message. There we go. Star it. And uh, everything works out great there. And calendar, I'm uh, a little bit concerned about because I can only see one calendar there. Let's go to the week. I can't see additional calendars for some reason and everybody in my family has a Google Calendar and we share them. So if I go to my calendars I only have my Giga Ohm work calendar. I don't see a way to add my other calendar. So, or calendars I should say. So that's kind of a bummer. And what else? I did use iScoot the other day which is a uh, an application that uses uh, the phone to work over Skype. I had a voice conversation over iScoot and Skype with James, which was pretty cool. We had the camera real quick. And we could take a picture of where I'm recording the video, I suppose. We could we could do that, but I'm not going to do that. I could turn it around, but it wouldn't make any sense. So here, I'll just hit the button and take a picture of my iPhone. Hey, there we go. And of course, we can share that, which would send an email through Google or SMS. I don't think I'm going to do that. Let's get this. Whoops. Whoops. It's still stuck in landscape mode. That's interesting. When I went from camera, I would think that's a little bit of a bug. And menu. Hmm, it won't even let me cancel that. That's not good. All right, discard. Message discarded. There we go, now we're back. I'm curious. Now am I back in, uh, yes, there we go. There we go. Oh, what else? The phone dialer is pretty standard, and actually it's the, one of the only ways you can actually use the touch screen to enter uh, numeric numbers. Got a call log here, I've called myself today. Oh, what fun. Got contacts, and I like how you can use a little thing to scroll through the contacts pretty quickly. I'm doing it quickly on purpose, yes. Uh, hey, there's Dave Zatz. I'll call me. Or no, I won't. And you can all call me, whatever. I don't care. And let's see. What else do we have? All in all, it's pretty nice. Um, Let's go into uh, IM for a second. There's my Google Talk account. Hey, Ohm's on. Should we send a message to Ohm? Let's see. You're on camera. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Recording vid of 
See, I hit menu again. Chat on. I've got a camera in the way here, so. Shift G1. Let's see if we can get the big man to respond. Oh, I think he just went to busy. Doesn't that figure? Well, whatever. Let's see if he responds. That's the nice thing. This will stay active. I'll just get out of it for a second. And go somewhere else. I've got the My Faves, of course. Voice dialer actually works pretty decent. I'll go to YouTube for a sec and just watch something. I don't really care what it is. Somebody baking in a kitchen? Boy. I hope it's not porn. Please don't be porn in the kitchen. Oh, there we go. Okay. Plays pretty well. Okay, that would drive me nuts. So we're going to get out of that menu and I just want to I want to exit I want to exit settings I don't think I can exit do, do, do. yeah I haven't had this for long can you tell all right now my notifications bar would tell me if ohm had responded and he hasn't so I can pull the window blind down but there's nothing there so, let's do the voice dialer for a second. Call Kevin Tofel. Well, Kevin Cavanaugh is a good friend, but he's not Kevin Tofel, and then I can call myself on the mobile and cover up the. Now you're all going to call me anyway, what's the difference? Alright, press menu for options, and the call. Yeah, and the iPhone's ringing. Yep. Well, I'm kind of bummed. I thought Ohm would respond, but in any case, so what else could I show you? I want to keep this kind of short. Amazon MP3, I really do like that. Let's go to Top 100 Albums. Yeah, we'll just preview a song real quick. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. There's a little country action going on. Love my sugar land. Alright, we all know how that works. 89 cents, that's a good deal. Hmm, I might have to buy that. Well, actually, I already have it. So I won't do that. Alright. Uh, let's see, anything else real quick? Could do a Google search for something, but of course, again, you've got to do that. I'm not too keen on that. Not too keen on that. And here we go. JK on the run. It's going right into the browser. I'm not going to get into the browser right now because i got a separate video for that later. Very quick one. And there we go. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, what the heck. While we're here. It does rotate pretty quickly. I gotta give him that. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Alright. So we'll get into the browser later in a different video. Let's close that for now. There you go, the T-Mobile G1. Just a quick overview. A look at the Google phone. The first of many, I presume. And uh, I'll have this for another 10 days. So shoot me your questions and we will take a look. Thanks.